I am a father of two young girls. Um, I lived in the Bay Area at the time and I wanted to find a program that really kind of fit my needs um, to be able to be flexible, to be able to work, to be a parent, and also a, a great school. So I think it wasn't just the flexibility, but also a school that had a great name. I lived in San Diego for a while and I always kind of aspired to go to USD one day. So um, when I was at that crossroads where I wanted to pursue my master's, it was just a perfect fit. I came from mostly a sales background in my professional career, um, but not a lot of technical experience. And that's something that I wanted to get. I wanted to really go deep and wide, and I wanted to have that breadth of experience where I could get jobs at some of the big names in cybersecurity, where people would look at me and say, hey, you know, maybe you don't have 20 years of cyber experience, but you have the degree and you studied all these things. So that was really important for me to get some hands on keyboard to do some of the technical stuff, and then also to explore the leadership and the operations aspect, because that's kind of more related to my uh, skill set in sales and leadership. And I was immediately able to put that in practice. Uh, at the time, I actually lost my job in 2020 during the pandemic. I was working for a consulting company that was not in cybersecurity. Right around completion of the degree, I was able to get a job in cybersecurity doing exactly what I wanted. There was one particular class that I liked a lot that I think really helps me today was our op the operational policy. Because a lot of the things that I'm doing and I'm the products that I'm selling to my customers have to do with policy and rules and regulations. And a lot of times the customers that I work with want to tick those boxes. So for me to have that understanding of the different HIPAA compliance or GDPR, it really is important. I knew a little bit, but not enough. And you know, that class had me writing policies and, and kind of getting into the weeds with all of those different policies and just the breadth of what might come up during a conversation. So that's helped me a lot. From the professors, they were all fantastic. I think what I really valued about the um, program's professors is that a lot of them were still working in the field. So they weren't just career professors, they were working their day-to-day -day job and then they were teaching us at night weekends um, and running the program. So that was great because you know that they were in the trenches doing that work every single day and then bringing that experience uh, to our classroom, which was fantastic. For me, it was daunting to think about doing a master's, especially with children and being married and being older, but the program was incredibly accommodating. It was flexible. That was really important. And I think for people, a lot of times, they are doing it later stage in their career or maybe mid-career and they want to make a pivot. Um, so just go for it. You can do it. Um, I did it. I have two little kids. I had a baby in the middle of the program. Um, I was doing homework at the emergency room. So um, you can do it. The professors are accommodating. The classes are great. And it really helped me jump in my career. It got me what I wanted. And I think for the future, it's going to just continue to help. People, when I say that I have a master's in cybersecurity, their eyes usually light up and they're like, oh, I didn't really know that was a thing. Or, wow, that's really impressive. So the feedback I've gotten from colleagues and peers and potential employers has been fantastic. My experience in the online graduate program was really great. The flexibility, being able to do stuff on the weekends or in the evening, um, but you also still had the availability of the professor. So you didn't lack that you know, ability to reach out. There was office hours, they would respond to emails. Um, if you needed extra help, they were there. Also, some of the classes were pretty collaborative, so I got to meet a lot of the students as well and work in groups, or just we kind of formed our own groups to just go through some of the work because it was challenging at points for certain people. Uh, and what was great is you had some people that were actively working in cybersecurity that were really technical. You had people like myself that maybe weren't. So we were able to you know, kind of form groups to balance our, our strengths and weaknesses together um, and figure out how we could help um, each other succeed. So that was really great. I didn't, I didn't feel like I missed anything by not being on campus. For me, the goal was just to stay in cybersecurity, to cement myself in the industry to grow as well, like I wanted to be, I want to be a director, I want to be a VP, that's really important to me. And I think this will definitely help me get there, I know it will. Um, I also, I want to teach at some point. I think that would be really um, a great thing to do. I'm really passionate about the subject matter. And I think to be able to help students grow and get to where I'm, maybe I'm at, maybe faster would be really great. Um, I had the opportunity to work with a different university actually within my work to just kind of talk about why it was impactful for me and why it was great. And it was cool, because then some of these kids added me on LinkedIn and asked me for advice. And so I'd love to be able to be in a capacity to actually just teach teach some classes at some point um, and still work and still grow and, and you know get to my, my goals. But I think it would be really great to be able to help lead and kind of mold younger minds or people that are thinking about you know getting into it or and then choose to dive in and just help them along their journey.